what is going on guys loon here welcome back to yet another plugin tutorial this is episode uh let me just look at my sick sticky notes that i totally didn't make 17 episode 17 and um, we're gonna go ahead and do a scoreboard um i'm gonna do the scoreboard when the player joins so inside of the join event um i'm gonna have this thing at the end where it says set up scoreboard uh p because it's the player so i'm gonna go ahead and create a new method uh, which is just a private void. If you want, you can go ahead and make that public. Um, you don't really need to at the moment, so there's no need. Um, but scoreboards are so simple. The way that I used to do it was really complicated. Just it, it, you could store the scoreboards um, in the main class, and you know you'd be able to go back to them, set the scoreboards. But it's not really the best way of doing it. So I'm going to show you the way that I'm starting to do it now. Um, so as usual you need to go ahead and create a new scoreboard manager um, I'm just going to um, put an instance of that as SM uh, which will equal bucket dot get scoreboard manager and um, I'm not going to go ahead and import these stuff yet I'm going to do it after so scoreboard um, on join equals SM uh, no, not SM. Yeah, equals S. Yeah, SM dot get new scoreboard, and then it will be objective because we need it to set an objective. Um, I'm gonna just put that as an instance of a no, or dim it as a no even. Um, or whichever you prefer to say. Um, I didn't call it S. I called it on join. I'm so used to putting S. Register new objective. The new objective. I'm just gonna put dash. Um, I literally dash and dummy. Uh, don't question it. I, I just, I just do. You don't have to. Uh, dummy, put, keep it as a dummy unless if you know what you to put there. Um, dash. Obviously, if you know what to put there, go ahead and put that there. Um, let's go ahead and import objective because randomly that was the only thing that didn't import. So o dot set display slot. Uh, now this is the dis display slot of the uh, scoreboard. So if you want it above the player's head. Uh, the player list which is when you press tab uh, by the way that is it when you press tab and sidebar is where we're gonna have it so sidebar uh, so yeah and make sure you go ahead and import display slot because apparently that's not actually part of the scoreboard thing itself so o dot set display name uh, this will be the scoreboard's name so uh, I'm going to do chat color dot um, uh, green plus chat color dot bold plus um, now I believe this could be like 26 characters so each one of these colors are two so two four and obviously we can go ahead and do whatever so I'm just gonna put welcome to my tutorial so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen oh wait sixteen 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Welcome to my tutorial. Hopefully that will uh, be fine. Um, don't forget to put a plus there. Um, so yeah, I probably miscounted the hay. So um, to set what is actually on the scoreboard, you you want to score. Um, not score as in drugs or anything, or you know picking up girls and stuff. Uh, literally score. So score. I'm just going to put spacer uh, equals null uh, because I'm going to have spaces because I'm special and I want them. Um, and then just score again. Now I'm going to have it as name title equals null. Another score called name, which is going to also equal null. Uh, and then score spacer two equals null. Now the layout that this will be is it's going to have a, like an entire space at the top, and then it's going to be the title, so like player name, um, and then like the name of the player. Um, for example, ah, oh, hit strings are up. Um, I was going to show you an example on hit explain what that would like, um, but I was like I can't do that. So, um, yeah, next. So the the one thing that I like doing now is I like to put this in a try statement um, so we can go ahead and catch the cap uh, catch the exception uh, as an X make sure you actually spell exception correctly <laughs> oh god 
Um, and then I can just go ahead and system dot out dot print ln which is print line as an x. Let's get to go ahead and print line x. Um, oh, ln print ln. God damn it. So, um, what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and try what's actually in here. Where if it can't do that or if, you know something's no or whatever, it's going to uh, print out an error in the console. Um, you could really put the level as severe or warning, whatever. Uh, I just don't see the point. So, spacer, so literally spacer is equal to uh, o dot get score bucket dot get offline player and then chat color dot. I'm just going to put everything uh, anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and put aqua. Um, now, if you're planning on, um, uh, there, there. if you're planning on uh, doing, uh, you know, multiple spaces, you can't have the same color um, on the spaces because the scoreboard just registers that as one objective. So, like, if I just duplicated this, even if it was spacer two, it won't let me because why the hell would you want the same line on a scoreboard? To be honest, my opinion, they need to change that because it's just, just a lot easier and um, it would help you in my bounty booking. Um, <laughs> um, so I guess we can go ahead and do name title next. So name title equals o dot get score. Now I don't need to cast this uh, to an offline player. In fact, we didn't really need to do it there, um, to be honest. So I don't know why I did. So chat color dot uh, gold. I'll, I'll just do gold. So name. This will be the player's name. Name title dot set score to three um, and then name dot uh, name equals o dot get score chat color dot blue uh, actually no don't put blue because uh, if the player or if the player that joins your server has 16 characters of the name you can only fit 16 characters on one line of the scoreboard and um, that's all that I'm going to do in this tutorial there is ways to bypass that get around that I'm not gonna do it. So yeah. Um so I'm just gonna go P dot get name or wait, did I do it as P name? No, literally just P dot get name. Um so that will work. And then name dot set score to oh and that's one thing by the way. Um the way that I'm setting this scores and why it's four three two and then it'll be one is because I want this spacer to be at the top. I want this one to be underneath it, and this one underneath that one, and then the space will be at the bottom. So the score, the higher the score, the more it's going to be up. I believe it only goes up to 15 or 16. Uh, I believe 16. Uh, it only goes up to 16. I'm just going to say that. Don't quote me on it though. Um, so yeah, yeah, I can't really explain it. But well, actually, I could explain it, but I don't really know how to put it into words. Um, so, uh, so yeah, really, um, just pretty much be smart when you're doing this. So one, um, you could really have it zero one two three four, but one zero one two three, but whatever. Um, so there's one more thing that you want to do. Now you can either do this inside of the uh, the try statement or not. It, it you could even put this outside of the try statement and then put the next part into it. Like p dot set scoreboard. Then score that we created, we called it on join, so obviously we'll do that. Um, I'm going to put it inside, it's just going to be good. Uh, it, yeah, I find it pretty much easy. Uh, there's no need of registering anything, that is that. That will work uh, because player P, the player that it's going to put it to, is the player that we put in here. Uh, so P is the player from the event, so obviously P. Oh, and we did pretty much call it P name, but because it's not actually in this. Uh, Void. We can't refer to it because it's not static. Um, but anyway, um, we can go ahead and export this. Next, finish. Yes. Okay. And I'll be in. You know, I'll, I'll just get this to being in game because it'll probably take me a while to get the server up. So I will see you then. So we've currently got no errors. Um, although I do actually have quite a lot of uh, uh, yeah plugins on here. This is pretty much like my experimental server for any plugin that I code. Uh, so you got Zyber and TD, Zyber Shop, by permissions, uh, portal bushes, you know, plugins that I've been paid to code and stuff. No point to searching. Where? Doesn't actually say. Anyway, um, 
That's weird. And also, I am on TeamViewer. I'm on TeamViewer to Paul, but Paul is AFK, so I thought I'd make a video. Uh, me and Paul are coding websites, so yeah. But anyway, uh, local host 25575 because it's yellow. And we're here. So, as you can see to the right, welcome to my tutorial. Boom. Obviously, one, two, three, four. Just going to click the name. Um, actually, that was pretty simple. Um, obviously, tutorial, uh, yeah, scoreboards aren't actually that hard. You, now, you may see this tutorial is like, what, like 12 minutes long? Um, but it's not actually that hard, is it? Um, so, yeah, uh, it's, it's not hard at all. So, it doesn't matter uh, how long it takes you to do. Uh, to be honest, if this wasn't in a tutorial, it would probably take you a couple of minutes. Not even a couple of minutes. Because it's that simple. Um, but anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have, please leave a rating as it really does help me out. And again, don't try and put colours on the player's name, because if the uh, character is 15, or well, the character of the name is 15 or more, they're going to get an error, and they're not actually going to be able to join the server. So, uh, for you, those developers out there, uh, <laughs> don't be idiots and do that. Uh, it's not good. Um, but anyway guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope we see you next time.